morning. I'm Leanne Winter. I'm the Director of Governmental Relations for the North Carolina School Boards Association. We represent all 115 local boards of education in North Carolina and the Cherokee Central Schools on the Cherokee Reservation. Thank you for the opportunity to share with you our funding priorities in your work in adjusting the two-year budget. First, before I get into specific money items, we would ask that you preserve as much budget flexibility as you possibly can for our school budgets. We know that was rolled back some last year, and we need to preserve that because each of our 115 school districts is unique, and they need to be able to address the issues within their school districts. Our top funding priority is permanent salary enhancements for all of our employees. While inflation was essentially non-existent in 2015, there were inflationary increases the five prior years, and we are seeing higher levels of inflation already in 2016. It is important for school districts to be able to attract and retain good employees from the bus driver who must transport our students safely each and every day and is one of the hardest areas to fill to the superintendent who acts as the CEO of the system. I would like to take a moment though and highlight two groups of our employees. First, our teachers. While we appreciate the overall significant percentage increase two years ago, our school districts are struggling to find enough teachers to fill our classrooms with qualified, effective teachers. We know this problem is not going to go away and is only going to get worse with the drop off in enrollment in our teacher preparation programs by more than 25%. We also know that many, and by no means all, of the teachers that come here from out of state have no intention of staying long term. While not the only answer, we do know that pay matters. We are also concerned that a teacher to retain an experienced teacher is going to be difficult when their salary tops out at the age of 47. The second group I would like to highlight are our principals. We know that it is critical for a school to have effective leadership. North Carolina's principal pay ranks 50th in the country. We ask that you begin to address the salary issue this session and continue potentially with a study commission. You'll hear more from that from the Association of School Administrators. Before taxpayer dollars are diverted outside of the public schools, we would also request that you provide the basic necessary resources for our teachers to do their job each and every day. Across our state, many of our schools do not have the financial resources to provide those daily necessities to educate a student effectively from textbooks, whether they be traditional or digital, to paper, to other technology, and other supplies. Lastly, I would be remiss if I did not remind you that there is still a judgment against the state for keeping fines and forfeitures that should have gone to school technology. The judgment was in 2008 for $747 million. To date, we have only received $18 million on that judgment. We would ask that you begin paying down this judgment and come up with a long-term plan to provide our students with the technological resources the courts have said they are due. Thank you for your consideration of these points and the opportunity to share them with you. 